We get there, and everyone is glaring daggers at me. The whole thing is tense until we get a slideshow on her sister showing pictures of the nursery and other baby stuff. In the slideshow, there was a picture of me with the other girl at the bar. Welcome back to They Did What? Your source for the internet's craziest, most entertaining stories where I go over them, analyze them, and most certainly make fun of them. Today, I'm going to go over two different stories dealing with the subject of open marriage. And in these two stories, you're going to see in both situations, it has led the uh, relationship to go to hell in a handbasket. One between the couple and another one with their extended family. First one, title is, My husband, a 34-year-old male, wants to get a divorce on paper before we try Polly. And in this story, guys, this woman decides out of the blue, like literally out of the blue, that she really is Polly. Therefore, she feels entitled to get as much sausage and do as much sword swallowing, if you will, as much as she wants. But the problem is, she's married. So she convinces her husband to go along with this. But unlike a lot of guys in these stories, this guy says, okay, well, we're going to get a divorce on paper first. In other words, we're essentially divorced, everything is split up, and that way then we do the poly thing, which guess what, usually doesn't work out well. Everything's already done on paper and good to go be submitted to the courts. Very pragmatic, practical thing. And as you can imagine, she doesn't think it's very fair. It's perfectly okay and fair for her to go get sausage left and right, and obviously he's going to get a far lot less uh, the other thing. But when he actually wants to get something out of it to be reasonable, that's not fair. So I'm going to go through this one. It's definitely entertaining to hear her whining and complaining on the subject. Starts off, it says, uh, background. Over the past year, I figured out that I, I identify as polyamorous. I've always felt this way, being attracted to more than one person at a time and wanting it to be more. Uh, newsflash, since the beginning of time, since marriage began, people have been attracted to other people. But guess what? Up until now, people had it as, okay, you can be attracted to people, but it doesn't mean you're going to go out and act upon it. You're going to have some loyalty and respect to your husband, or in this case, your wife, and that's that. But now this idea is like, oh, well, it's actually a thing. Therefore, you can go uh, outside your marriage and try to convince people it's a good thing. What a load of crap. Identifies Polly. Get the hell out of here. But I figured these were just feelings that would go away as I aged, but they didn't. They've only become more intense. And after reading much on this sub subject and a hell of a lot of other awesome resources, I found that my feelings are not abnormal at all. I'm just Polly. You mean you read a bunch of articles in different magazines and uh, had a bunch of women talk about this so they can uh, be they can all benefit and have an excuse to label themselves as this Polly thing and therefore they ca it can pretty much justify and legalize cheating. That's what this really is. And how many times does it end up hell in a handbasket every time? Uh, the wrinkle is the the wrinkle. The wrinkle is that I'm married. Four years married, three years dating. My husband and I have a really great relationship. Well, clearly ain't that great, honey. I've always felt fearless to speak to him about anything, so I did. I told him how I felt, and that it certainly doesn't change the way I feel about him, and that I don't have anyone else in mind. Police. They always have somebody else in mind. There's always a guy, at least one, they have in reserves just waiting to hook up with the second they convince their poor, dumb bastard husbands to go along with this. I don't want to hear. There's no one else in mind. And now I love him dearly. Yeah, I can tell you love your husband so dearly. And don't want to change in any way. I read many, many coming out to your spouse posts and try to reassure him in every way I could. You mean try to manipulate him in every way you could. His initial reaction was to assume that I did, in fact, have someone else in mind, and it took some convincing to make him understand that wasn't true. This guy's not stupid. He knew something's up. There's somebody else. And she says, convince him. You more like manipulate him. He said that he wasn't sure it made sense to him, but agreed to take some time to research it and see. I was initially thrilled, and I expected a much worse reaction. So he went through resources on the web and read a couple of books, and we talked about it a lot. The problem, the initial talk was about six weeks ago. Uh, we talked about it all the time for a week or so. He seemed very curious and almost excited about the idea. Well, at least about, at least about the SEX part. But it tailed off from there. And for the last few weeks, I've been the only one to approach the subject. 
G. Like you can't tell she's eager to uh, hop on the carousel, huh? Uh, last night we were out to dinner and I brought it up. He said that he was now indifferent to the idea. Well, that's the uh, that's the worst thing for someone to be. You know, there's in love and there's indifferent. Indifferent is you can give a crap. And he obviously can give a crap by her at this point. She obviously killed any love he has for her. He was worried about jealousy and figured that the whole thing would be way too much work for too little payoff. His words. That, that it was really dangerous, but he was willing to try if I really wanted to. At this point, he doesn't give a shit. But then he said one more thing. I think we should get divorced first, though. She never saw that coming. My heart sank, and I was about to tear up when he quickly clarified what he meant. A paper divorce. Just split our finances and file for a divorce now, so we don't have to worry about it if something bad happens. Our living situation and everything will stay the same, just with separate accounts and such. Uh-oh. Split up the money. She can't have access to his money. Now we know why she freaks out. And here we are. I was and still am pretty effing angry at his reaction. You tell him that you want to go uh, F other dudes, and he and but if he suggests that we should essentially divorce on paper and you're pretty angry at his reaction, how dare he? You just admitted you want to find a loophole to justify cheating. That he ain't good enough. He knows how important this is to me, and I feel like he's just setting this up for failure. Lady, this thing always ends in failure. The only way it doesn't end in failure, both parties were on board about an open relationship from the start. They were both into alternative lifestyles, if you will, and they're both on the same page. They weren't together in a monogamous relationship, and then one day, one party goes both ways, says all of a sudden, I want to F other dudes, or he says, I want to F other women and make it legal. No. I mean, I see his logic, but I don't want a divorce. That's just going to... Uh, predestined failure. So she sees his logic, but emotionally she doesn't like it. Ugh. I'm not sure what to do. I don't want a divorce, but I really want to explore this side of me. Has anyone been in a similar situation? How can I reassure him that no matter what we try, that I won't stop loving him, and so we don't need a divorce? Or is he try is, is he being the sane one? Is this uh, the right thing to do? Well, I think they're both completely effed up here. What he should do is say, we're done. Yeah, we had a great time together. I thought I was enough for you, but clearly I'm not. And I don't want to hear this. You you woke up one day and you identify as this. Nowadays, everybody's identifying as something. Notice this? I identify as Polly. What a load of bullshit. And he should have pretty much ended her right then and there because that says it's over. And I don't want to hear for a second that she has anybody lined up. They always have somebody lined up. Come on. Or at least a website to quickly click some buttons and dudes are coming in. No. What he should do is end it with her. But if he's going to stay with her, I think this is hilarious. Okay, we're officially divorced. Yeah, we'll still be together living in the same place and have our fun. But uh, that's it. But what would probably happen if they went along with this, eventually he would just walk out anyway. But it's always funny when these stories come about and that gal doesn't get her way. Let me read some comments here. Uh, one guy says, you don't want a divorce, but he doesn't want his wife dating other people. You're basically telling him that you want to try Polly for better or worse. You can't be angry when he fires back an, an ultimatum. Exactly. Another guy says he's protecting himself, which is a perfectly reasonable thing to do. He wants an out if things go horribly wrong and aren't able to be fixed. Again, a prudent strategy to take. You want something and he's willing to give it to you for something in return. Quid pro quo is the gold standard of relationships for a reason. She wants to have permission to essentially cheat. Okay, then he's going to get something out of this. And obviously you don't see him thinking it's a great idea to go hook up with other chicks. Another one says, Honestly, you come across as a very focused on your own needs and feelings and not very empathetic towards his. In both your OP and your subsequent comments. You've essentially told him that he has no he, he has to renegotiate the core of your relationship based on what you believe to be a core aspect of your being. If you're a married man and years into the relationship, he revealed himself to be gay, very much in love with you, but also very much gay and unable to be fulfilled with just you as a result, wouldn't you be hurt and upset? It's a big pill to swallow. Anyway, your husband comes across as pragmatic and kind, even when filtered through your anger. He's right. Polly is a lot of work for 
often very little reward. Do you need? Do you read this forum? Poly can uh, be incredibly dangerous to a pre-existing relationship. Jealousy is a constant issue, and yet despite all these entirely reasonable objections, he's willing to take the plunge, but he wants to protect himself first in a practical way. Knows the man is being logical, and the woman is being emotional, and not to mention selfish is all hell. That's smart and admirable, not manipulative. He's expressing his boundaries. He has reasonable fears and has a reasonable fears that going poly may irrecoverably irreconcilable damage your relationship, but he loves you and understands that you need to try this, so he's trying to find a way to negotiate it. Instead, you just whine about yourself and your own feelings, never once showing sympathy for the spot you put him in. You don't sound like a good spouse, poly or not, to be honest. Yeah, she's an asshole. She's freaking garbage. And I guarantee you, guarantee you like some of these stories, if he would do this, and he started dating, and obviously she would have no pro- if she's remotely good looking, above average, she's going to get plenty of D, and he starts meeting women and gets serious with one of them. I every time, when the guy finds some chick that doesn't want to be like that and he gets serious with, or he, she can tell he's starting to fall for her. That's when the wives always want to close the open marriage. Always, and oftentimes it's too late, and they go bawling their eyes out and singing the blues on Reddit or YouTube or whatever, and uh, it's it's pretty hilarious. So, I I think at the very least this guy's going to do it, get the divorce, and that way everything's done on paper, or walk away completely. Now, I'm going to go to the second story here. It involves, obviously, how these open relationship, open marriages can have an impact on family. In this particular story, it's titled, Am I the A-hole for telling my wife's family our secret? And in this story, this is a couple that started off in an open relationship. Like, literally, they started dating, and as a simply a non-married couple, they were doing the open thing, but they both liked that lifestyle, so they got married. And now they're living that, but one day... Something happens where the wife's family, who's very religious and conservative, like extremely religious, finds proof that he was doing this, and leads to this whole shit storm. It's quite interesting, and again, to show the stuff, the impact it has. It says here, I, a 28-year-old male, have been with my wife Rebecca, 29-year-old female, for four years. Rebecca comes from a very religious family, and we have hidden a lot of aspects about our marriage. We have some contact with them and only see them on holidays and special occasions, like weddings or baby showers. One of the biggest things they disapprove of was us not having our wedding in a church. It was such a big deal that we now hide aspects of our marriage, like the fact that we are going to be child-free. Ooh, very religious family, not get married in church, that'll do it. And then not having any kids, that will definitely do it. But wait till they find out about the open marriage. Uh, one thing the family does not know that about, about is that Rebecca and I have an open marriage and have had an open relationship ever since we started dating. So I was meeting up with another girl at a bar a few days ago. It was going well and I didn't notice anything strange. Well, today we went to Rebecca's sister's baby shower. The large baby shower was canceled since the plague, so it, was, it really was just a dinner with her family. He's referring to COVID. We get there and everyone is glaring daggers at me. The whole thing is tense until we get to a slideshow of her sister showing pictures of the nursery and other baby stuff. In the slideshow, there was a picture of me and the girl at the bar. It was an innocent picture, and looking at it, everyone would think I was cheating. So, instead of confronting the guy right then and there, or conf- or telling their this guy's wife, they took pictures of him fooling around with the girl at the bar, which they're in an open relationship, so he's free to do. And they went to the baby shower to put that on the slide just to humiliate him and her. What does it say about the family? I mean, that isn't just disdain towards him. It's disdain towards her. These people are a bunch of assholes. I mean, think about this. I mean, for any of you guys out there that are married, and if you had someone that cared about you and saw your girlfriend or your wife doing something, you'd think they would go to you and say, hey, I, I really hate to break this to you, but here's some pictures of what I saw your girlfriend or wife was doing. They went away to a big event that they could humiliate the both of you. But like I said, they have issue with them because they uh, didn't get married in a church and all that. The whole family starts yelling at me and calling me a cheater. And how dare I do this to Rebecca? I look at Rebecca for help, but she just stays quiet. I try to get them to calm down, but nothing is working. So I just yell at Rebecca and I have an open marriage. This causes everyone to start freaking out even more and we have to quickly leave. So what does it say about her? That everybody's attacking him. And she's just there quiet, letting it happen. That says a whole lot. Because if there's anybody that she should be loyal to, 
in the world who comes first is him. In my opinion, when you get married for the woman, your husband is number one. He comes before your family. He now comes before your father, your brother, your uncle, your family. He come, That is your new family. That's how things used to be. Or if it's your wife and it's warranted, she comes first before your mom or sister or whatever. Again, if it's warranted, she earns that, that respect. But she's not even defending him. What does that say? I'm in the car with Rebecca and she starts to yell at me about how, how could I tell her family that? Hey, lady, why don't you open up your mouth and defend me? What am I else supposed to say? Let me just take that. That I completely betrayed her trust and this is probably going to ruin her relationship with her family. If they did that to her publicly like that, the relationship already is bad. I'm angry now and say, so what? You'd rather make me out to be a cheater than tell the truth? The argument continues for the rest of the car ride and she won't talk to me anymore. I'm sleeping on the couch. You're sleeping on the couch? Smack. I don't think so. She can have her little ass be on the couch, not you. She's the one that didn't stick by you. And who knows who this whole idea... Well, obviously they were open from open relationship from the beginning, but still, no. You stick with your guy, you defend him. And her family showed their hand, so fuck them. Now, here's some comments here, because it's pretty funny. One of them says, uh, Oh boy, uh, I was so primed to write, you're the a-hole, but no, not the a-hole. Your wife was perfectly willing to throw you under the bus, and that should put her on the couch, not you. Yeah, she could sleep on the butt, on the on the couch. In fact, no, no couch for her. She could sleep on the floor with the freaking cats and the the dog in a sleeping bag. Now the guy says your wife needs to put on her big girl pants and deal. Why were the shower hosts just trying to out you like that, like a bad episode of Jerry Springer? If their concern was truly for you and your wife, they would have talked to you privately. Ding ding ding. Offered to pray to pray for you. Instead, they played it where they shouldn't. If I were you guys, I would beat that drum until it breaks. Your marriage is between you two. Your wife does not need to stand tall. Well, your wife does need to stand tall. When people ask questions, just say we love and respect each other very much. We're not discussing the details of our marriage with any of you. Pull together, not the a-hole. Exactly. We're grown-ass adults. This is how we choose to live our life. It's not the way you want to cho- choose to live it, but you're going to respect that, or you're never going to see us at the wedding and baby showers. But quite frankly, after that whole shit storm, what they did to her, uh-uh. But uh, since they're both 100% on board with this open lifestyle, so it seems, then okay, fine. That's their business, really. But all these stories I do all the time are when somebody brings it up after they've already been married. And 95 times, shit, no, 99 times out of 100 is the woman. But in this case, they both started off that way. Fine. That's their life. Another guy says, totally not the a-hole. I see comments around the OP needing to be more discreet, but to be honest, I think it's insane that someone would put that picture in a baby shower in front of everyone. What's the point? Humiliating both you and your wife? Even you had to be, even if you had been cheating, why would they want to tell your wife that way? Exactly, because they're assholes. What kind of family would do that? So yeah, sounds like they're mean and meddling bunch. Probably the reason why your wife is scared of them knowing who she really is. But that's not a real family relationship. If they can't love their, for her for who she is, then screw them. You did nothing wrong. They, they cornered you. What did your wife expect? That you'd shoulder all the blame and she'd be, be, be the poor wife who forgave a cheater? Well, I'm not going to say they're innocent. I disapprove with this type of lifestyle to be, you know, if it wasn't obvious and the problem. But this shows the problems this thing does cause. But at the very least, both of them are on the same page about it. But anyhow, there were other comments, but this video is long enough. So anyhow, guys, there you go. This goes to show, again, the impact these things have. Psalm Gomorrah 2.0. These things don't work. Now, again, the only way they can remotely work is if both parties are agreeing on the subject like you see here. But then again, it may work for them, but eventually when people are going out on dates and all that, somebody's going to recognize them when they're out. I mean, right? That You always wonder, people do these open relationships, open marriages. Sooner or later, somebody like a friend or acquaintance or co-worker or somebody from uh, the family might stumble upon this, their smartphones, and off you go. So this just causes drama no matter where you go. So, and anyway, why get married at that point if you are doing this? So, all right, guys, that is it for today. Be sure to comment down below. I mean, just think about this. And guys, you got a really good story you'd like to share, a good article or story you found, email it to me with the link, strongsuccessfulmail at gmail.com, and I'll definitely cover it down the road. And be sure to like the video, share with your friends, and subscribe. And I'll catch you next time.